games on the road. Wednesday night, Union team, we will be back playing in front of our fans. How is the team preparing to play back at Drive King Stadium? Well, yeah, we've we've been away from home for a while now, so everyone's super excited to get back in front of the fans, working hard, and yeah, can't wait to put in a good performance in front of them. Next question, Michelle, then Franco. Hey, Sammy, we just talked to Phil for a while um, just about what's motivating the players right now. He talked about, you know, players are thinking about their futures and he, you know, everyone has different uh, things that they're motivated by. Can you talk about um, what is the mood in the locker room right now? I mean, you know, there's been a, you had this great stretch, now you've had this downward stretch. What is the mood of the team? Is the team uh, still optimistic, do you feel, as a group? Is it demoralized? And trying to get optimistic, where, do you, where would you place the mentality and the mood right now of the players collectively? No, I mean, I'd say the, the mentality and the mood is still super strong. We're still mathematically still in the, in the chase. So, yeah, i say it's good. Next question, Franco. Sammy, this this weekend you got to start. Not this weekend, right? Yeah, this weekend you got to start. Um, Couple, yeah. Days are just blending together. This weekend you got you got to Tell start. Um, <laughs> show, showed some things offensively, um, and and look like from the outside that that Phil asked you and Lewis to maybe push higher up um, and, and start from higher up positions, more advanced positions um, from those wing back spots. Uh, is that what Phil asked from you tactically in, in this past weekend's game that he wanted you to be more advanced because we saw you especially got very involved in the attack. Um, and maybe obviously left some spaces in behind at times, but I think that was my instruction, but um, I'd ask you. Yeah, I mean, that, that position in itself requires you to do both jobs, but I'd say, yeah, obviously the coach, we, we all want to create chances and score goals. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. Next question, Ian. Hey, Sammy, the travel that you just went through is close to the entire equivalent of a Premier League season. What does that do to... You said the travel? Yeah. That, that you went to Atlanta yeah, yeah, yeah. and then to Portland and then to New York and then to Columbus and back and forth. And What, what does that do to you in terms of physically and, and, and even mentally on how you're able to have those moments where you're late in a half, you're starting to feel a little tired, and you know how do how do I bring it all together? That that just exhaustion level that that going through all of that travel does to someone. Well, I mean, I say first and foremost, we're lucky. We have a great staff that keeps us healthy and happy. Um, but yeah, it's it's a lot of travel. But that's that's part of this it's what the league is here. So if anything, sometimes it gives us an opportunity to stay together, connect a little bit more, and mood stay strong. And just keep going. Next question, Dairon, then Michelle. Thank you, Rafa. Uh, Sami, I wanted to ask you because in the last game, uh, I, it's personally the game that I've seen you with more confidence playing better. Uh, for me, it's been like the highest point in, in, in Inter Miami for you or from, from what I've seen. And I w just wanted to know your opinion. Uh, what, what is your opinion about your own game? Uh, uh, this weekend and how can you keep improving so you you can be a essential part of this uh, starting lineup um yeah I mean it's my first first year in the league um so there was definitely an adaptation period but through the help of the some of the guys on the team most of the guys on the team the coaching staff they've all helped me grow throughout the year and I think that was just a, a result of that next question Michelle Uh, Sammy, when you're on the bench and you weren't playing, a lot of times players say they learn a lot about their team because you're really watching the whole field. You're hearing the coaching. You're seeing everything evolving in front of you. Um, why do you think it is that the team was able to score so many goals during the stretch that you guys were winning and why the scoring has dropped off? What, what do you think has changed? Because it's pretty much the same players up in the front. What do you think has changed over the last six games? I don't know if anything has changed. I mean... It's the same effort being put in. Sometimes the chances fall for you, and sometimes they don't. Next question, Franco. Sammy, uh, we were able to watch uh, the first half hour of practice this morning, and Phil addressed you guys as a team for a pretty 
normal than longer, I would think, uh, time. What, what was his message there during those first few minutes of practice? What was he, what was he saying for, I don't know if it was this week, this game, the rest of the season? Just keep going, like I said before. And like he said, we're still mathematically in there. So we got to keep going, keep pushing till the end. Any more questions? Good. All right. Thank you, Sammy. Cool. Thank, Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.